I've seen a lot of YouTube woodworkers make their own mallets. I'd like to make my own, but I don't have a lathe. But I do have an idea. I'm starting with a Louisville Slugger baseball bat. Doesn't seem to be too terribly beat up. Seems like it's not cracked or anything that would cause me problems. Best of all, the price was right, 69 cents. The first thing I wanna do is separate the barrel from the handle. I'm gonna start over on the chop saw. The barrel of this bat is nice and straight. That gave me a nice solid way to push it up against the fence on my chop saw. Step two, I'm gonna take this part of the bat and cut it where it seems to be nice and straight in here in the handle area, but first I wanna remove some of this tape. Now that I can see this handle a little more clearly, I think I want to take it off about up here. Now the plan is to attach this to this. Here I'm drilling some test holes in a piece of scrap to test the fit. Obviously, inch and three eighths isn't going to work. So now I've got to bring this down to where it's an inch. Cut the head off. The handle's bigger than an inch, but smaller than my other bit, so I have to devise a way to thin down the handle so I can get it into a one inch hole. Thankfully, I've watched plenty of Izzy Swan videos. It took some finagling, but I've got this down to about one inch. It would really be better for me to do this with a drill press, but I don't have one right now, so I'll try to drill this as straight as possible. That right there, my friends, is a baseball bat mallet. Needs a little bit more tweaking, but so far, me likey. Here's my tip for sanding something round like this mallet head. little five minute epoxy down in the hole that I made and on the shaft and things should come together pretty nicely. Take it out of the clamp. Feels like a nice tight fit. Sand it down a little bit more and put some finish on it.
Obviously, I have no idea what I'm actually doing with a chisel. When I put this together, I thought of it as a fun experiment. I'm actually surprised how well it turned out. It's clear I have no idea what I'm doing with a chisel. It's the first time I've tried to carve anything, but I wanted to test it with something to see how it would hold up. The epoxy seems to be holding the head on really well. I'm happy with that, and uh, we'll see how it lasts. If you've watched any of the videos on my channel, one of the things you know I like to do is try to reuse things, turn them into something new. That's exactly what this project was. If you like it, please let me know. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you'd do differently. I kind of wish I'd had calipers. So it would have made it a little bit easier to figure out exactly what size to make the handle as I tried to fit it into the uh, hammerhead. That would have been a lot better. Overall, I'm pretty glad with how this turned out. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. That was ugly.